Hi everyone, Saad is here. Today we will learn about most powerful function ever. It's called Lambda. Lambda is the most powerful function in Excel for one reason. It lets you create your own function and use them through your spreadsheet. I know it may sound a little bit complicated, but today I'm going to break it down and I will show you step by step how we can use it. So hopefully this video will make it super clear. Stay with us, watch the end. or BC on and let's start. There's two things you need to do to be able to use Lambda. First, you need to be a Microsoft 365 subscriber. And second, you also have to be enrolled in Office Insider program. Don't worry, this is not complicated. It's very easy to enroll to the program. All you need to do is to go to File menu in the top left-hand corner and then go down to the option that says Account. And here you will see an option for Office Insider. If you click on Office Insider, there is two different channels. There is a current channel and there is also beta channel. Lambda is currently only available to the beta channel. So if you want to test it out, click on beta channel and then click OK. Now you have access to Lambda within Microsoft Excel. Now, before we go deep to Lambda, let me explain to you the difference between a formula and a function. First, formula is an equation that you can design in Microsoft Excel. So here, for example, I have a list of all those different products and I have the price associated with them. And I want to find the total price of all these. I can use a formula to do this. To enter a formula, I'm simply typing the sign equal, and I can click on different values, and I can add them up. Then hit enter, and I will see that the sum of these is 100. And that's what we call formula. Instead, I could also use function. A function is a predefined calculation. So let's say I want to do the same thing, where I can sum up all of these different values. I could use the sum function in Microsoft Excel. Here I enter sum and I will open parentheses and I can simply highlight all these different inputs value. Close the parentheses and then press enter. Here the function gave me the same output of 100. That's the main difference between a formula and a function. With Lambda, we can create our own functions very much like some function and we could call it any name we want. Now let's talk about the first example here. Here I want to create a formula that subtract 2 to the value over here in this column x. So let's type in the lambda function and the first thing it will ask for a parameter or calculation. I'm going to put in x as an input variable and this can be anything you want but it just happened thus I'm matching the x title to the one I have over here. Then I want to know what is the calculation is. Well let's take x minus 2. That's our formula. One of the things that's tricky about lambda function is that when you enter it directly to your spreadsheet it needs to know what is the input value for x it doesn't know that it's pulling data from over here so we are going to tell it that the input value is going to be this value 7 over here in cell a2 hit enter and it's taken that value 7 and subtract 2 to it now let's copy this down and you can see it uses a3 for the input for this one and a4 as an input for this one and it's minus 2 for each of these values now the real power of lambda is when you name it as a function on your own so let's take this x minus 2 idea and we will create our own function called minus 2 to do that we need to go to formulas and then we will choose name manager we're going to create a new name and we're going to call it minus 2 and the formula bar we're going to have it as a lambda function with an input of x and the value of x minus 2 for the calculation that's all you have to do we will hit ok and now it creates a name called minus 2 i'm going to close that and over here i'm going to refer my minus 2 formula and you can see it appears in the list here and the parameter we are going to pass in is going to be this a2 value and the, here we go it's subscribed to to that value we will copy it down and you can see that it's own function called minus 2 and that's the real power of lambda function now we can use this new function throughout your spreadsheet and you can come back and use it again in the future anytime you want Next, let's take lambda a little bit further. Let's say we want two input variables instead of one. So let's create a column here called y and we will put some numbers in there. We're going to go directly to the name manager and create something that is going to be x multiply y. So let's call multiply x y and the formula we want to use is going to be lambda and we're going to input an x and a y variables and for the calculation we want it to be x times y. Hit OK. There it creates this multiple x y and now we can reference our function with input variables for x and y. And you can see that it multiplies those two variables together for your results. Another feature of lambda function is that the input value can be arranged instead of individual value so for example let's say we delete this and we edit this a2 value for input and instead we are selecting just a2 let's go ahead and select the range here and we will do the same thing with column b that calculates the value by multiplying these two across and it splits the result dynamically over the additional cells so now we know that lambda function handles dynamic now, value the previous example was pretty basic and you probably wouldn't create a function for something like that at this example i'm selling those items and i want to offer some free items just as an incentive to order more so here as an example if you buy 
10 items, we will give you two for free. And if you buy 40 items, you will get 12 for free. So it will drive more people to order items. For that, I will be using VLOOKUP function. And if you don't know VLOOKUP or you want to know more about VLOOKUP, just watch the video here to know VLOOKUP in detail. Now I start my formula and type VLOOKUP here. And I will start choosing my lookup value, which is the quantity for each order. And then I will mark the table here as a table array. Then I will choose number two. So that Excel will understand that I, I want to bring the items from column number two and then choose the true so that the formula now will always fall down to the lowest value near to it. As an example, if someone places an order of 22 items, like here, and there are no 22 items in the table, in this case, the Excel will fall down to the closest match. Next, I will use plus and I will add those free items picked up by VLOOKUP to the main orders quantity. Now, doing this function again and again may cause some errors, especially if you have some employee come up in. Instead, I would likely to create a simple function which they can type easily and it will split the total quantities and get my free items in. So once again, let's use lambda to turn this into an easy use function. To do that, first, let's click on the formula that we want to use and I will simply highlight this and then I'm going to copy it next I will click on escape let's go over to the cell here and once again we are going to use lambda now to use lambda let's type in equal and then type lambda next let's open a parenthesis and once again we need to pass in a parameter once again my parameter is the unit sold and I will insert a comma and now we need to type the calculation now I already copied the calculation so let's paste it here finally I will add one parenthesis to close this up there is one thing you will notice here in my function that I'm using a reference of cell b3 now I wanted to refer to unit sold instead so I will replace the b3 and paste unit sold for all the parameters throughout this calculation once again I have to close my parenthesis and everything will look good and now let's create our function once again to create a function let's go up in formula in the top ribbon and then let's click on the name manager this opens up the name manager and let's click on new for the name let's type in unit sold with free item once I type in the name, I will leave the scope to workbook and I will type a quick comment below that's highlighting this value. And now let's paste our lambda function that we typed and then we could click OK. I now have a function called unit sold with a free item. Next, let's click on a close. Here now back in the sheet, I can now enter equals and I will start typing unit sold and here I see unit sold with free items. I can click on that and I can open a parenthesis, click on 22 unit sold, close parenthesis and hit enter. Hopefully you found this useful. If you enjoyed this, please give a thumb up. If you want to see more like these videos, please subscribe. I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much.